in it. They'll be underlined for you right now by Stuart Story. Well, thank you, Des. There certainly are some big names, and of course, times in preliminaries determine the makeup of this second semi final. There's the lineup Asahara of Japan, Donovan Bailey of Canada, Maurice Green of the United States, Frankie Fredericks of Namibia, Tim Montgomery of the United States, Eric Nakansar of Ghana, Obi Quello of Nigeria, and Seon Cooper of Liberia in the eighth lane. Well, the attention will certainly be upon uh, 145, Donovan Bailey, the Canadian, the defending champion. Set a world record, got two gold medals in Atlanta, but this has been a different year. It began the season with uh, the showdown in Toronto, which affected both him and Michael Johnson. He's uh, not been too convincing so far in these championships. An appalling start in the first round. An indifferent uh, performance in the second. Looked to grimace. Whether he was kidding or not, I don't know. The Canadians suggest perhaps he was, but I'm not so sure. He looked as though he wasn't totally and utterly uh, fit. He's had problems, and we shall see. Well, Maurice Green, the American champion, the third quickest American ever, after Leroy Burrell and Carl Lewis. A class act. Personal best of 9.90. Looks very, very edgy. Wants to get on with it. Coached by John Smith. The weight training has developed his power. He now has the start. And what a race it was with Bolden, his training partner. Frankie Fredericks of Namibia. Silver medalist in the last two Olympics over 100 and 200 meters beaten in Atlanta by two world record runs. His class ran 9.99 yesterday. Always capable of winning the gold. But so often the nearly man. Tim Montgomery. The American number two. Got a silver medal in the Olympic 4x100 meters relay. Ran in the heat in the semi place in the semi-final. Mike Mars replaced him in the final. Former football player, took up sprinting. It was less dangerous, he said. Kanza of Ghana won both of his first round races. Semi-finalist in the Olympic Games in Atlanta. To give you some idea of his form. Obiquelu of Nigeria, he's just 18 years old. The world junior champion, over 100 and 200 meters. The world's fastest junior last year. Cooper's useful, the Liberian. On the outside, he holds their record. He's away from the action, and that may well affect him. The first four go through to the final. What condition is Donovan Bailey in? What sort of a start will he get? Next to Maurice Green, the best starter in the field, perhaps. Fredericks, the experienced man. Asahara, Bailey, Green, Fredericks, Montgomery, Nkansa, Obiquelu, and Cooper. The second semi-final of the men's 100 meters. Last little look down by Green. Bailey, slow, precise in his preparation. Fredericks is ready. Well, Fredericks got away well, so did Maurice Green, and Green and Fredericks at the moment, and Donovan Bailey going well on the inside, along with Maurice Green. It's Bailey, Green, and Fredericks, these three at the moment. And Green, Bailey's back, Green and Fredericks, those three, 9.89, look at the time. Oh, 0.5 meters per second, but what I tell you, Bailey, he's back. Montgomery could well have got the fourth qualification, but the big three, Bailey, Green and Fredericks, battled it out. It was very tight in the finish, but this was Donovan Bailey of old in the second lane. Didn't get quite the start that Maurice Green did. Fredericks into his running here, Montgomery just holding off and Kanza at the moment, now then Green, just slightly ahead at the moment Fredericks coming through on him 
Now, let's see who got it. Fredericks was finishing very quickly. Green it is. Bailey in second. Fredericks third. Montgomery fourth. They're the four qualifiers. But a brilliant, uh, brilliant run. Contrast in styles. 4 times 9.9 .9 this year for Green. But Bailey, he's not been starting well. Didn't start as well, as I said before, as uh, Maurice Green, the American champion. But in the end, well, they were still looking at each other, and Bailey's got a little bit more. Green ran harder. Bailey, under pressure, looks across, eases off. Fredericks holds his form well. Bailey looks across, and that was a superb race wasn't it let's have a look at the result now green gets it at 9.90 bailey is back 9.91 fredericks 993 montgomery 10.08 what a race